Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Blue Eyed Briars once again, and in today's video we are going to be doing my Christmas haul as well as the unboxing I promised from the last video. Um, I'm going to unbox my Stablemate Club Stablemates, my Premier Model, and the Peter Stone that I got from the Art of the Horse sale. Um, so without further ado, oh oh, before we get started, I want to say thank you so much for all the views I got on the very last video that I did. I was not expecting that being my second video. I didn't even know how good it would turn out. So I am very thankful for that. So thank you. And those of you that have subscribed, I am very grateful for that. Um, and hopefully you can help my channel grow and I can, you know, help you in some way. If you need, if you have channels you want to help grow, I'll be more than happy to follow. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. So the first horse I got is the Christmas horse Snowbird. Um, this one, is very pretty i love the colors i love the model that they did it on um i do get one of these every year so i was very happy to see this one this year the next model that i got was a brick and mortar limited edition romeo this one did come out a while ago but i did make sure to put it on my list all right so those are the two ponies i got i didn't really see any others this year um considering that there was briar fest pretty much a few months before christmas um, so I did end up getting all the horses I wanted there. I do have a haul video. However, I know it's like later in the year. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it or not, but the photo of what I got is on Instagram if you haven't seen that yet. So, um, you can look at that there. Um, all right. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and do some unboxings. So my stable mates did come together in this box. So we'll go ahead and get them out so we can take a closer look at them. Um, these are the end of the year premier, um, stable mate club stable mates. They did have Kit, who was the run, and then Heli Helios, I think, I might have said that wrong, sorry. <laughs> he was the bonus model that we could have gotten, and I went ahead and purchased both of them. And of course, they come, and they're mini Briar boxes. These are so cool. I love these boxes because they do remind me of the Collector Club and Premier Club boxes, so that's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and open them all right i always feel like these boxes are just a little bit tough to get open but here we go all right it looks like helios is the first one that gets to come out so i am excited to see this one in person i've seen plenty of pictures and this horse is gorgeous so i'm looking forward to seeing mine um, this does come on the Fireheart mold and is a unicorn. So it's exciting to see like what they did with this mold. They did things a little different. So it's got a unicorn. It's got some pretty blue, uh, blue metallic shades to it. So there's Helios. All right. And then we will go ahead and unbox Kit. Let's see. And from what I understand, Kit is supposed to be on a new Halflinger mold. However, I've seen posts where people are kind of upset that it doesn't exactly follow the um, Halflinger mold or confirmation exactly. All right. And then, of course, all the stable mates do come in these fun little boxes. So they are given their own um, yellow and blue box. So we'll go ahead and pop the pony out. And again, mini bubble wrap, which is always good when they travel. Make sure they're all they're always safe. All right. And of course, they put tape on the packaging, so it makes it a little bit harder to get them out. There we go. Okay. He is so pretty. Look at that. He's got stars on him. Um, windswept mane, forelock, and tail. I love this horse. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was definitely worth um, the waiting for the end of the year stablemate releases. Oh my gosh. I will post close-ups of them too at the end of the video so that way you can see them um, closer up. All right, so let's go ahead and open the Premier Club model next. And we will go ahead and... Um, there is supposed to be the... Um, Premier Club Stablemate in here as well. Um, I think it's Giorgio is the name, who is the miniature version of the George Premier Club model, from what I'm understanding. All right. 
Okay, so of course, each Premier Club model does come with their very special box. And I'm sorry about the ring light glare on this. Um, I'm not really sure how to get rid of that. But of course, being only my second video, I will get that figured out. So not everything will have a glare on it. I do apologize for that. Okay, so one thing about Premier Club models is they do come with their COAs. So this is for Animar. And this one I'm actually super excited about. Um, I really love the other Premier Club models, but... I really, really liked this one, and I can't believe I waited like two to three, two to three wait, two to three weeks to get them out of the box. So yeah, <laughs> um, it's been a bit, it's been trapped in here for a while. Um, but I'm gonna admit, not as long as my um, Peter Stone model. I left that. I've been wanting to do this, do this unboxing video. So the Premier Club model, or my Peter Stone, I'm sorry, did stay in the box. A lot longer than planned. We could talk about about a month. So not very happy with myself on that one because normally I always get my horses out first thing. Um. Oh, and in the box, there's a nice little sketch of Animar. That's cool. This is the first one I've gotten with a sketch in the box. Normally you get them at the beginning of the year when they're introducing the first model. So this is cool. Very exciting. All right. And Animar is in this bubble wrap. So we will go ahead and pop them out. And I'm not seeing the stable mate so I'm a little concerned I'm wondering if we got one I'm hoping we really did um but maybe he's in the bubble wrap with Animar I, I, I don't know I guess we'll find out I know it, it takes a while to unbubble wrap these guys as well okay oh actually I do have my Giorgio did come in the bubble wrap so I'm very glad to see that they bubble wrapped them together for the safe trip from New Jersey all the way here to Ohio. All right, comes in his fancy little pouch. Okay, so we're gonna get him open. All right, he also comes in the plastic wrap like my other two stable mates did. So that means another for another uh, way that they are safe during travel and they prevented any scratches. And oh my gosh, look at him. He is so cute. Take a look at that little chunky guy. Very, very cute. I love his coloring. He also will be um, getting a close up so you can see him better. Get his ears out of the video. There we go. All right. <laughs> All right. This is Animar. Animar is just beautiful full from what I see so far. Um, okay, we're going to cut the tape off the face when it's a little hard to get off. I don't want to have any ear scratches or anything when I get him out. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. Look at him, you guys. Isn't he beautiful? What a beautiful model. Sorry, I got him really close to the camera. But look at those dapplings that they did and the detail on the face. Oh, he is just perfect. I am in love with this horse. I think I'm going to put him with Alvarazzo. I haven't seen them together in a video. They look really cool standing next to each other. So I will be doing that. But you guys, if you can get one of these guys, please do it. They are gorgeous. Absolutely. All right. All right. Now come. Okay. So we got a lot of bubble wrap. So we're going to move some stuff before we unbox the other pony just to make sure we have a clean work area to get him out. Um, okay. So Peter Stone, thank you. Um, they always put stone horses on the side of the box. So when they come to the house, I know, I usually know who it is. Um, and this one, like I mentioned earlier, I do know is, um, my brindled bandit from art of the horse. Um, this horse was the third runner up in the film series. Infinity Briars did it. Um, his name is Pyro, a.k.a. Brindled Bandit. You can get him in gloss or matte. I do prefer gloss in all the horses that I get. Um, so I did get him gloss, and I'm really excited to see him in person. See what he looks like. Because he's been in the box too long. Tape's a little hard to get off. All right. Let's get that. And one thing about Peter Stone is they always, always put plenty of packing peanuts. Um, I do prefer to not have packing peanuts only because they get everywhere. But if it keeps my horses just safe during, tra during travel, I am not going to complain. All right. Just want to make sure there's nothing else in here that I missed. Okay. So, 
Brindle Bandit um, does come with a swing tag. I did get Thor also, but I don't remember Thor coming with a swing tag. I think it's just Brindle Bandit, so that's pretty cool. Okay, Certificate of Authenticity, because all of these do have a certificate with them. And this one is 30 of 30. I must have gotten the last one. That's great. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, bubble wrap sticking a little bit. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. And here he is. This is the Brindled Bandit, aka Pyro. Um, Like I said, based on the short film, film by Infinity Briars. Um, wow, he is gorgeous. He's got a roach tail, a roach mane. Uh, he's just, he's very unique. I really like him and I'm glad I got him. So um, this is the end of my haul. This is the last horse that I have received. However, I do have a couple other horses coming. Another Peter Stone. I've got the Christmas horse, um, which was on the necklace mold this year from Briarfest. Um, so I will either unbox them or just post videos of them on my Instagram. Let me know what you want. Um, like I said, I cannot believe the amount of uh, views and likes I got on the video. The followers have started to follow me. I thank you so, so much. And if there's anything you want to see other than unboxing, because that's kind of what I'm doing right now, um, let me know. Um, I do plan on doing a top five Briar Horse purchases from 2022. I'd like to do one of what I'd like to get in 2023. So if any of those sound appealing, just let me know and be sure to subscribe. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram, Blue Eyed Briars, just like my YouTube channel. But once again, thank you guys so much. And I really appreciate you. And I hope to one day either meet you or run into you at Briar Fest. Um, that would be so great. So with that being said, I'll talk to you later. Bye.